Um, and I understand from what you have said that your intention is to do that for 2009. Can I ask you um, what assessment has been made by the government or by your advisers, and if you will make this information available to us, as to what impact uh, such a hit on the public finances or on the uh, will have on the wider economy? Four to four, you take four to four and a half billion uh, out of uh, the finances for the remainder of 2009. Uh, it's a pretty big hit, and a number of commentators have been speculating as to what that will do uh, to jobs and uh, to businesses and what the impact, the wider impact of that will be uh, on, the, uh, on, on the economy. Uh, and I think that it would be very helpful if we could have available to us uh, the advice that you have available to you as to the economic implications uh, of uh, such a move. Secondly, you, in your reply, you said that you wanted to put that in uh, a, a multi-annual uh, context and I can understand why you would want to do that. That is why I've asked you to let us have what is now the government's uh, projections for revenue and for expenditure between now and 2013 and I'm saying 2013 because that is the, that's the date, that's the date that you've given, well you've given a document, I mean I know you're smiling, you gave a document. You gave a document, you, uh, you, gave a, you, gave a, you gave proposals to the, to the European Commission. I mean, it's one thing to talk about the multi-annual context. Let's see what the colour of the multi-annual context is. I think we're entitled to hear what, uh, what is your estimate, what are your projections uh, over, over that multi-annual uh, period. The third thing that we need, and again, I am repeating it, and I know Deputy Kenny has, has asked for it. I don't think that you can ask, I mean, the opposition parties are prepared to engage constructively with this process. But we have to have available to us, Taoiseach, the information that you have available to you. We have to have available to us uh, what uh, the uh, information that's coming up to the, the Minister for Finance from the different uh, departments. The type of information that if, for example, you look at the education expenditure or you look at the health expenditure or the expenditure on the roads programme or uh, public transport or any of the, uh, the programmes and expenditures uh, that, the, that there are, we need to know what that information is because we can't fly blind here. Now, again, I'm putting it to you, Taoiseach, and I appreciate what you, what you said. We can have a dull debate about this. A dull debate is, you know, is, is, you know, is a public exchange, and that's great, and that may be, that may be useful. But if, if the opposition parties, if you want the opposition parties to meaningfully engage in this invitation to uh, address the state of the public finances, you are going to have to make available to us the information that you have available to you. This is either a genuine exercise or it's just some kind of a political smokescreen. Now, I hope it's a genuine exercise, but the test of that will be whether or not you're prepared to make available to us what you've been told by the line departments in respect of expenditures and their projections and their revision of estimates.